quarter. Our scholar from Carver Road just told us, you guys sit there. Our scholar from Carver Road just told us that our meeting is now called to order. So if you want to please place all electronic communication devices on silent or vibrate. At this time, I'd like to ask the superintendent to do the roll call. When your name is called, please signify by saying present. Please signify by saying present. Okay, Sue McDonald, Barbara Joe Cook, Zachary Holmes, Will Doss, present. Chantel Brown, present. We have a quorum. We will have our prayer and pledge allegiance. Our prayer will be done by Mr. Holmes of the Third District, and we have a very special treat from Carver Road Middle School on scholars who will. Uh, do the pledge and do it in American Sign Language. So we are excited and we are in for a treat today. Leave her home before you. All right. <clears throat> Lord God, as we come before you, as we enter your presence, we ask right now, Lord God, that you forgive us of anything that we've done against your will, your instructions. Father God, we ask right now that you saturate this place with your presence. And we ask, Lord God, that you will lead God and direct us in how we handle the constituents' business. We pray, Lord God, for our staff and our students. And Lord God, we pray for the rest of this year as we approach our graduation season. Lord, let everything go decent and in order. And we ask these things knowing that you can and you will. And it's in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. I pray. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Cousins. 
Two feature performances including the fall monologue show of Girlhood Musical led by Miss Hudson. And we had a great season of athletics and football, softball, cheer, basketball, and track. We ended the track season placing second at the first annual Bart Pitney Track Invitation. Another highlight this year is the Reading Buddies program spearheaded by Ms. Duke Wade. This allowed our eighth grade scholars a chance to promote literacy with one of our feeding schools, Moreland Road Elementary. During the school year, to make a consistent effort to promote inclusive practices so that all scholars will sense of belonging. Some of these practices include our counselors and administrators meeting with students to discuss school expectations and academic excellence. We have also hosted several parent meetings to build a strong community partnership. Due to the increase of our Spanish-speaking families, the counselors hosted conversations with families in an effort to provide information on grades, attendance, PBIS, and mental health. Lastly, we have had several opportunities for scholars to pursue their interests such as dance team, drama, chess, and FBLA. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, give it up for the Carver Road Middle School Eagles, our May 2023 school partner. Carver Road is in District 3, so we will help to present the certificate. Hey, this is not a student, this is a principal. <laughs> The next item on our agenda is our Bickerson County School System announcement. I'd like to pass it to the gentleman of the second district, Vice Chairman Will Dawes. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I would like to introduce Jordan Tyler, 12th grader at Griffin High School. Jordan is a student conductor of Griffin High School Corps, Vice President of the FDLA, National Honor Society, Beta Club, Superintendent Advisory Council. World-based learning intern for the DLC Communications Department, and uh, major the major the major choice is journalism with a focus on public relations, and will be attending Georgia State University in the fall. Please welcome Jordan Scott. Thank you so much, Ms. Cyrus, for giving us our announcement. All right, we are now moving on to item five of the agenda. It's the adoption of the agenda. What is the pleasure of this board as it relates to item five, the adoption of the agenda? Mr. Chair, I make the motion to adopt the agenda as presented. Right? 
second. All right, it has been motioned by Holmes of the third and seconded by McDonald the fifth to adopt the agenda as printed. Is there any discussion? What is the pleasure of the body? Please vote by raising your right hand. All right, five zero. Recognition. So we're going to do recognitions a little differently tonight. So I want us to make sure that we are listening up and paying attention. Ms. McDonald will call your name when the person presenting uh, scholars will come or people will come and stand up front. After they are done introducing you, you will join the Board of Education by the seven repeat for the official photo. Everybody get that? All right, let's see how this works. Recognition, Ms. Sue McDonald. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Our first recognition tonight is the Servant Heart Award from the Sun City Civitan. Mr. Kent Hutton is here. He's the president of Sun City Civitan. And Mr. Bailey, or excuse me, Charles, Mr. Kelly, if you'll come forward also. I think I saw you, yes. We're gonna recognize uh, two special education teachers tonight. Kent, would you like to just give us a little blurb as to what the Servant Heart Awards are? Thank you. Thank the board for allowing our back to get us here to present these awards. Uh, service is uh, uh, to recognize all of those who just demonstrate exceptional uh, efforts and service to special needs individuals, individuals with um, intellectual development and disabilities. Otherwise, I'm And we've got a couple of uh, individuals we would recognize tonight. Uh, one is uh, Aaron Kennard from Moreland Road Elementary School, special needs pre-K teacher, and Adam Mobley, Jackson Road Elementary School, a special needs paraprofessional. Uh, if you all come forward, we got a little presentation for you. We got a little check for you, which maybe you go out to dinner tonight, and uh, we get our picture taken with some Facebook. All right, thank you all for the time.
The Georgia Department of Education offers a fine arts uh, diploma to for high school seniors who meet the following qualifications. They must complete a fine arts pathway, which is three credits and one fine arts concentration. So visual arts, um, they need for us theater. They must also complete an additional fourth course with a creative industry focus, 20 hours of fine arts related community service, and a capstone project. I'm proud to say that we have 30 students in total from our district, 15 from Solid High School and 15 from Griffin High School, who will be receiving their fine arts diploma still this year. That's a, that's a big achievement. So let's get to the I would like just to show a quick video of all the students because they all can be here tonight, but I want to make sure that they're all recognized. All right. 
First, Bowden High School, and let me say, Bowden High School does have an art show tonight, so some of our students are unable to attend, but still wanted to make sure they were recognized. Um, so, Linda Brown, Cameron Clay, Lydia Engel, Thank you, Ms. Wilson. Next, we have the International Skill Diploma Seal, Ms. Goodman. Good evening. Good evening. So tonight, Dr. Russo and I are here to recognize students who will receive the International Skill Diploma Seal and the Bioliteracy Diploma Seal. So we do have a video. And then we will um, tell you what these students did to uh, deserve this recognition, and we will call them to be recognized. Geography, 
And finally, they need to present a capstone presentation on the knowledge that they gained in the courses and activities listed above. And so we have about eight students across both high schools that we are going to recognize for receiving the International Skills Diplomacy from Griffin High School, Jennifer Molina. Participants learned about leadership 
roles, responsibilities, and expectations. They were able to have shadowing experiences, solve situational scenarios, complete problems of practice, and capstone projects. We are excited about their achievements and growth during this program. At this time, I will ask the participants to come forward to receive their certificate and pins as I call their names. In the aspiring leaders cohort, we have Stephanie Pearl. Ms. Pearl is a DES lead teacher at Remote Grove Middle School. Ms. McCann.
Riley. Governors, honors, 
Service Program participants at this level are an elite group of less than 1% of all Georgia students who make it to this level. I'm proud this afternoon to recognize the three students that we have in semi-finalists. Two of those students are participating in other programs tonight and cannot be here with us. Katie Eller from Salton High School and Emma Devane from Salton High School. Let's put our hands together for those two students. Thank you, Mr. Breen. Seem to be getting the message, but this is a brief recess, so you don't intend to stay for the business portion. Thank you so much for coming. Good night. Agenda item. Should I make the motion that we accept 
a consent agenda item as presented. It's been properly motioned by home to the third. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mrs. Cook of the fourth. Is there any discussion? We are ladies called, please vote. Holmes. Yes. McDonald. Yes. Cook. Yes. Doss. Yes. And Brown. Yes. Approved by the. Action items. Department of Exceptional Students, FY24, Contractor Services, Mr. Charles Kelly. Good evening, Superintendent Simmons, uh, Chairman Brown, Board. Uh, tonight I'm coming here to discuss the Department of Exceptional Students, FY24, Contract and Services. The Department is requesting to enter into contract and service agreements with service providers and partner secure and or specialized service divisions, which are funded either through general funds or through IDA federal funds to support or provide direct services for students with disabilities. Uh, the contractual agreements are with the following agencies, AMN Healthcare, Marcus Autism Center, Presence, the Stepping Stones Group, and Ward Rehab. The district also enters into agreements with individual contracted service providers not represented by contracting agencies most. All contracts included in this memorandum are renewals from FY23. Uh, just a little breakdown of, of the different contracts from IDA flow through providing the following services, assistive technology, adaptive treatment, clerical, behavior support, and care professional. That would be up to $250,000. Through the general fund, providing speech and language uh, pathologists, physical therapists, school psychologists, pre-K community teacher, occupational therapy assistant, up to $900,000. And through our ESSA fund, BCBA behavior support up to $100,000. It is recommended that the district enters into contract and service agreements with service providers and hard to secure and or specialized service positions to support or provide direct services for students with disabilities. The total amount of contract and services will not exceed $1,250,000 and will be paid for IDA, general fund, and after uh, funds. Thank you. Chairman Brown, are there any questions? This time, thank you so much, Mr. Kelly, for that. Are there any questions for Mr. Kelly from the Board of Education? Okay. All right, hearing none, um, what is the pleasure of this body for this recommendation of the Department of Exceptional Students, FY24 Contracted Services? So moved. It's been properly moved by the Dean of this board, Barbara Jones Cook from the 4th District. Is there a second? Second. Second by Holmes of the Third. All those in favor? Any discussion? Please vote by raising your right hand. Can't see my board on the screen. Oh, sorry. Appreciate it. All right. Next up, Food Nutrition Meeting Back Agreements. Mr. Robert Wheeler. Here's the chairman around. Board members, Dr. Simmons, Superintendent. The Pittsburgh Father County School Nutrition Department is seeking approval to enter into full payback agreements for well water supplies, such as goods. The only process includes processing food safety and sanitation products. Real background. So those things we saw right off the curve here in three methods. We can stand along and put down with the protosaic uh, milk, or you can join another contract that's already established such as piggyback agreements like we're doing with commodities um, because those are already established contracts. Or you can get together with other districts as cooperatives, which we do with our U.S. foods, those kinds of uh, uh, purchases. So what we've done here and what we're looking at doing, these are the same vendors that we currently have, these um, SFS stack, Dave paper. We use those in the past as, as opposed to standalone contracts we're now piggybacking on Lyons County and Calhoun. <clears throat> this allows us to have better purchasing power because the purchasing or the cost of your products is based on volume. This increases the volume, allows us to spend, uh, spend, our, spend less money to get in the same product. So the two that are up that we're talking about is day paper and SFS tag, the same two that we had last year or the previous years. So it is recommended that the Reference Quality County Board of Education approve the four piggyback agreements for wear washing, paper goods, 
Commodity processing, food safety, and sanitation. That's the slide. Further questions? All right, thank you so much, Mr. Williams. We've heard this presentation by the Navy. Uh, is there any, any questions or discussion from the presentation? None at this time. All right, hearing none. Uh, what is the pleasure of the society to accept the school nutrition and the feedback agreement for the 23 24 school year? Motion that we accept the agreement as presented by Mr. Wheeler. All right, is the motion by Holmes of the third? Is there a second? Second. Second by Ms. Cook of the fourth. When your district is called, please vote. District one? Yes. District two? Yes. Yeah. District three? Yay. Yeah. District four? Yes. District five? Yes. All right, five zero, therefore approved. Thank you. Next up, final fiscal year 24 budget adoption, Mr. Byron Jones. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Superintendent recommends approval of the FY24 budget with appropriations as follows. General fund, $109,574,372. Special revenue fund, $24,887,013. Nutrition fund, $7,940,755. And capital projects fund, $13,610,156. Just a little background recap. We have conducted three public hearings, two of them prior to the tentative budget approval, which was in the month of April. We also had a public hearing at five o'clock this evening and then a board meeting tonight. So in total, five to six meetings in all, plus a retreat where we uh, talk about our budget. I do, do, did want to thank the Board of Education and the Superintendent. This has been an aggressive budget timeline this year. We are actually a month ahead of schedule. Uh, so with your approval tonight or adoption tonight, we will then move forward on posting uh, the appropriate items with the state and then look forward to military hearings later in the summer. So with that being said, Mr. Chairman, it is recommended that the Griffin Spalding Board of Education approve the FY24 budget with appropriations as mentioned earlier. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Colleagues, you have heard the presentation of the final fiscal year 24 budget adoption. Is there any discussion at this time? Open floor for discussion. Mr. Brown. The gentle lady from the fifth, you're recognized. I just, uh, with the organizational chart we were just given, um, it may be two different entities, but I think the org chart is important for us to understand as a board how this may or may not affect the budget. I mean, I, I don't know that. Are you asking a question, Ms. McDonald? I think I'm doing a little bit of both. Okay, so if a question has been asked, I would like for the superintendent to answer any questions at this time to Mrs. McDonald's question. Superintendent, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Ms. McDonald, members of the board, uh, the org chart, um, does not have any implications on the budget. Um, it's a function. Uh, it, it really illustrates the hierarchy and, and the residency of various departments and divisions. It more so talks about who is responsible for supervisory roles and responsibilities. But again, various departments have work charts. Uh, various schools have work charts. All organizations have work charts. But there are no dollar amounts uh, that are driven by set or chart or vice versa. Are there any other questions? Ms. McDonald, you still have the floor? I think I would just feel better if we were able, and I think we talked about this prior to this meeting uh, starting tonight. I think I would feel better about voting after I have been able as a board member to have a discussion about the org chart, even though. I understand what you said, Dr. Simmons, because I think they're both very important and we're a month, we're a month ahead of the game, so to speak. Um, I'm a little uneasy. That's really all I know how to explain it, because I was unable to have a discussion about the organizational chart and I don't know, I'm just a little uneasy. Thank you so much. Any other uh, comments or anything, Ms. McDonald? Uh, not at this time, thank you. All right. 
All right, we are still on this particular item, on the X item, item three. Is there any further discussion on this particular item on the agenda? Um, I, 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 before we either take a vote or whatever, I, I, I had been in conversation with Mr. Uh, Jones on my previous question. I, I wasn't, I wasn't given the answer, I guess, to my satisfaction because uh, I, you know, I wanted to see something detailed. Um, but whatever we do, whatever we decide to do, I want to make sure that uh, I go on record as stating that uh, that I, I wasn't completely satisfied. But we we have been in conversation to set up a meeting uh, this week so I can see. Uh, uh, you know, what his point as well as him see my point. All right, thank you so much for that, Mr. Holmes of the third. Still open for open discussion as it relates to fiscal year 24 budget. Mr. Dawson, have anything? I do not. All righty, Ms. Cook. Ms. Cook, do you have anything? Nothing. All right, we'll go back to Ms. McDonald. Uh, thank you, Mr. Brown. I think based, based on what Mr. Holmes just stated, I, I, that just to me further drives the point that it's, it's not the end of the, um, the world if we don't vote yes tonight, because we're a month, month in advance. Is that correct? The timetable that we have before us is, is to, in our favor, not against us. And um, I, I certainly, as a board member, want Mr. Holmes' questions to, to be answered. I think they're valid questions. Um, and you probably need to do a little bit more research to, to answer his question. So I, I would, uh, All right. we, we, maybe we need to table it, I don't know. All right, so uh, there's no, no, no further comments from anybody. All right, so now we have the item on the agenda. Is there a motion? Is there a motion? I make a motion that we table adopting this. Wait, hold on, we're gonna have a motion for the passage of the item. If it doesn't get a motion, it fails, then we'll go to the next step. So is there a motion for the budget to be passed on this as this agenda item right now? Is there a motion? So we have had a, a motion from Mr. Dawson the second. Is there a second? Motion fails. All right. Is there a motion to bring the agenda item back for a special call meeting? So moved, Mr. Chair. Is there a proper motion to bring the to bring this item back to the agenda on a special call meeting by Holmes of the third? Is there a second? Second. Second. All right. We will go with Ms. McDonald as that second. It's been probably motion and second to do so. All those in favor of that motion, please signify by raising your right hand. Five zero. This item will be brought back for a special call meeting. Thank you so much. Next item, Archway MRU, Vice Chairman Doss. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I believe that at our meeting uh, about a week ago with North Clay, we had taken all of the uh, concerns, all of the questions, and were able to get most all of those answered, uh, except for uh, Mrs. McDonald, as far as knowing who was going to be hired as our archway professional. But we're able to involve all of the board members of all three boards in that process of uh, being able to see some of that interview and, and the uh, finalists being able to weigh in on that. So uh, at this time, I have no further discussion. I'm not sure if any other board members do. <clears throat> I, I have. Uh, Hold on one second, Mr. Holmes. Okay. Go ahead. All right, I do want to just jump in real quick and say that um, I think I've had a chance to speak uh, with most of the board members as it relates to the meeting that we had with Archway. Uh, I think that we are in a much better position as we continue to move forward. Once they hire the Archway professional, making sure that the board, the members in the city government, county government are involved in that process. 
I also think that as we continue to have conversations about projects and things that Artsway are able to do, that we will be able to better serve our community and better serve the scholars of our school district. So um, I do want to make it known that I am in support of Archway and looking forward to see what happens tonight. Mr. Holmes, you recognize? Yes, I, I, I wanted to relay uh, phone calls and uh, message from our taxpayers, seeing how this is taxpayers' money that we're spending. Uh, they they conveyed to me that uh, it would be it would be nice, it would be appropriate since this is this is a uh, community effort to, to improve our community that we had some uh, private businesses uh, contribute to this fund, which has never been discussed, not in my presence, but uh, I'm just doing my due diligence to uh, one of our constituents that specifically spoke on, on that piece. Uh, but they, they uh, wanted to know had we could even consider because uh, they feel like the burden of uh, the three entities uh, carrying this load should be uh, shared because uh, one item they mentioned in specific, the $20,000 that we uh, contribute could be used to, to uh, feed our kids in July. So uh, there it is. All right, thank you so much, Mr. Holmes. Are there any, any other member of this body that has a comment as it relates to our way? Mr. Uh, Brown. Lady of the fifth, you'll recognize. Thank you, Mr. Brown. I uh, attempted to get in touch with Clay Davis this week. I, I know the county um, is trying to get donations, as Mr. Holmes uh, mentioned. I also have been contacted by constituents um, that are not in favor of us spending the $20,000 for Archway. And Mr. Doss, I, I believe I understood everything correctly that we won't know who the leader is of Archway until after the vote, is that correct? Can you repeat that one more time? I believe my understanding is that interviews take place next month for the new leadership of Archway, is that correct? Yes, the interviews will be taking place after we have made a determination that we're moving forward as a community. Okay, I so know that the city and the county both have approved to move forward. Okay, so why do we have to, why can't we wait until after we know who the new leader is going to be? Because I, the constituents that have called me, and I've given Archway the benefit of the doubt uh, right after we got on board and then the COVID, uh, there have been lots of things that have happened. I just don't feel comfortable voting for something when I don't even know who's going to lead the ship in the water. I understand you will have a, a, a say in that process, but they are not going to hire somebody and then in, have to turn around and let them know because we did not continue as a, as a community. Say that again, please. I didn't quite get all that. If we determine that we are not moving forward as a community with Archway, then they will not be hiring a Archway person. Okay, and I kind of agree with Mr. Holmes too with regard to asking the community to help the school system. I don't, I'm not really sure any, any of the three entities should bear the burden of this any longer. I, I just don't. I, I know that's what the county's doing. I, I'm not really up on what the city government is doing, but I know that Clay Davis has, has in my initial conversation with him, mentioned to me that they're trying to raise funds from other entities to help come up with the 20 grand. I don't know where that stands. I tried to contact him this week. That, that is incorrect. That is incorrect. The county is putting up 20,000 and the city is putting up 20,000. Okay, so that's changed. And I think that changed since our meeting that we had last Wednesday, or two Wednesdays ago. All right, is there any other discussion as it relates to this item, the Archway MOU? All right, hearing none, what is the pleasure of this body for this item. Mr. Chair, I make a motion that we accept the MLU for the Archway Partnership. It has been motioned by the gentleman from the second district. Is there a second? Second. It has been seconded by the gentle lady from the fourth district. We've had much discussion. 
When your district is called, please vote. District one, yes. District two, yes. Yeah. District three, nay. District four, yes. District five, no. Motion passes, three, two, Archway, MOU. Next agenda item, administrative recommendations, Dr. Keith Simmons. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, at this time, I would like to make the recommendation uh, to assume the role of County Athletic Director, um, one William Bill Stikes. A little bit of background for Mr. Stikes more than 15 years of experience in K-12 public education. 10 of those years were spent here in Griffin Spalding County Schools as a teacher. The last five of those years has been as an athletic director and assistant principal at Bent County. Um, Mr. Stikes has his graduate degrees from uh, LaGrange College and Columbus State, I believe, and an undergraduate degree from LaGrange, uh, LaGrange College. But having said all of that, it is my recommendation that Mr. William Bill Stites uh, be appointed to serve as County Athletic Director beginning in the 2023-24 school year. Ladies and gentlemen, the body you have heard the administrative recommendation from Superintendent Dr. Keith Simmons to appoint Mr. William Billy Stites uh, as the DSCS District Athletic Director. What is the pleasure of this body for this item? I make a motion that we accept the superintendent's recommendation. This is a proper motion to accept the superintendent's recommendation by Mr. Holmes of the third. Is there a second? Second. Second by the dean of the board, the cook of the board. Is there any discussion for this item? When your district is called, please vote. District one, yes. District two? Yes. Yeah. District three? Yes. Yeah. District four? Yes. District five? Yes. Item is approved five zero. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Mr. Sykes. Next, moving on to the next agenda item. FY23 Federal Grants Budget Update. Ms. Barbara Austin. Good evening, Chairman Brown. Our oh, hold on, Ms. Ms. Austin. Start back. Oh, no, you got to bring that energy. I didn't bring it tonight. You got to bring that energy. <laughs> Good evening, Griffin Spartan County School District. Yeah. Good evening, Chairman Brown, Board of Education members, and our own Superintendent Dr. Simmons. It is my pleasure to bring to you this evening an update of the FY23 Federal Program Grant. WGCS. Our fund balance 
And that number will come down when we come back to you in the next two minutes. So nutrition over to the right, $2.8 million fund balance is still doing real well this year in the nutrition program. General fund operating statement, page two, uh, top yellow on the left, 7.1 in revenue, 7.8 million expense. So for the current month of April, we were almost 700,000 to the negative, but over to the right, we're still functioning at about 14.5 million uh, to the good right now before we look at those approvals as we still have that, so we'll come down. Page three, special revenue funds. We've caught up on some of our drawdowns, so most of the uh, top yellow items, which are revenue, match the bottom items, which are expense. We're in good shape there with a couple of months left for our federal and state grants. Page four, uh, nutrition operating statement for the current month, so 6.8 million cumulative revenues for the year against 5.8 million expense. So still right around a million dollars functioning to the positive for the current year. Uh, and we're investment registered. 33.2 million is what we're managing. All of the uh, rates that, for interest rates over towards the middle of the page are all up around close to 5% now, so that's a good as far as the banks and what we're earning at the state pool. And then the last uh, slide is uh, the three months left in the year. The last month we got was 1.2 million in squad, so that's still, still, still doing real well for the three months left. So 35.8 million is what we're collecting so far. So, Mr. Chairman, any questions? Ladies and gentlemen, everybody, I heard the presentation from Mr. Jones on the April monthly financial board report. Are there any questions, comments, or discussion at this time? All right, here and I, thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody, moving on to the uh, informational items that are listed on our agenda. You see that we have the National SAM Innovation Project for fiscal year 24, Chromebook, Refresh, Keyless Access Control, and Callan Road Middle School Epic Purchase and Installation. Moving right along to board member comments. We're going to start with uh, the gentleman from the third. Any comments? No, All right, the gentle lady from the fourth, any comments? Okay, here. Second, first, no? Right. We do have one item listed for executive session. Discuss and deliver on of personnel. What is the pleasure of this body as it relates to executive session? To handle uh, that mission. That. Thank you so much. Is there a second? Second. All right. The motion by Holmes of the third, seconded by the gentle lady of the fourth. And uh, no discussion, all vote by raising your right hand. Five zero, we are in executive session. Thank you. For the purpose of, he said it, yeah, he said it. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> 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 